Welcome to Jaywick, England's most deprived place. Welcome back to Wendell's Adventures Around Britain on a very cold and windy February day here in Clacton-on-Sea. Now no mission around Britain would be complete without a visit to the Essex seaside and look at it in all its glory here. What a sight to behold. But more importantly, no mission to show the real Britain would be complete without a visit to the notoriously deprived Jaywick, which is just a mile or so down the coast from Clacton. Now Jaywick's had a lot of bad press over the years, a lot of documentaries and videos showing it as the most deprived place in England. But my mate backpacker Ben came and made a video here recently and he said, Wendell, the people are amazing. They're really warm and friendly and pleased to talk to you. So I thought I'd come down and show what Jaywick really is like in 2024. First of all, let's have a wander around Clacton. Let's see what the locals are like here. Let's see what they think of Jaywick just down the road and then we'll venture down to Jaywick and meet the locals there too. Jaywick, let's find out the truth. Let's go. So what's life like in Clacton these days? At the winter it's very quiet. Obviously in summertime you get all the visitors come down and everything else. Pretty safe place to live? Cheers. Um, <laughs> oh, blimey, that's a question to ask, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we have had a large number of stabbings. Oh dear. That is bad because that does bring the old area down. That's the sort of thing that would bring down Clacton. Yeah. It would bring it down. Yeah. But um, as I said, in the summertime, it's busting. And what about Jaywick? So after, after, Jaywick. I, after I film Clacton, I'm going to go to Jaywick. Jaywick's um, a different matter. Yeah. In what way? <laughs> Jaywick has got a bad rep, but I'm not being funny. It's a community, and I know people in Jaywick, yeah. and they're such lovely people. Like everything else, you'll always get a couple of bad apples in a barrel. But with the people that I know from Jaywick, got oh, I'll, I'll do anything for anybody. Yeah. They look out for one another. It's just unfortunate the situation that they've got to live in. Yeah. You know, because originally them huts wasn't for homes. Yeah. Them huts was just for holiday homes. They were built in the twenties for That's holiday right, homes yeah. and then the war. That's it. East, and people, East London has moved over, yeah. Yeah, and see, and they've started renting them out. And to be quite honest, they're not really livable. Not fit for permanent habitation, no. No, they're not, no. because they're just wooden shacks. I live in one of them. In Jaywick, do you? Yeah. 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 And I tell you, think about these wooden houses, is, these, these little rabbit hutches we live in down there. You're going to get you get a lot of rats, a lot of mice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. like North River. Plasterboard and stuff yeah, to get well, to I the food. Yeah, I don't know about that. They're in my loft. I oh, know. And they have a rave every night. <laughs> oh, bless you. you need to get a cat. <laughs> I've got three kittens and they're running away <laughs> from them. Oh, Ben. <laughs> People can turn around and say, yeah, but I've heard so and so about Jamie. Don't listen to gossip. Yeah. Go and see for yourself. Go and have a look yeah, and talk to people. You've yeah. got to go and see for yourself. Yeah. It's my first, my first, my first day in collecting, mate. First it? day. What are yeah. your first impressions, first day? That's what I mean, it's love, love it, not me. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, it's like uh, arcades and everything. What's life like in Clacton? It has its ups and downs. I mean, it uh, can be a pleasant place to live depending on where you, what region you're in. So it's like, yeah, it can be rather hectic. I mean, the town centre, I've heard, gets a lot of trouble. I haven't really okay. experienced too much of it myself, but, yeah. you know, you get it from time to time. Are you dressed up like this for a reason, or is this no, what you're dre no, no, dressed no, in every day? It's just a winter seasonal thing. You look fantastic. Yeah, 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 thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. After this, I'm heading to Jaywick. Oh, right. What's Jaywick like? Um, well, I hear it's like one of the poorest places in the country. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think it'd be okay, but you know, I would say, you know, maybe be careful. I don't yeah. know because there's probably like people that are more desperate there. Like Jaywick and Outwards, there's always problems in the area down there. So what's Jaywick like? Obviously it's it's got a reputation it's, as being incredibly poor. It is. I mean the other day, sad boat, a, a, a grandmother lost her life 
you know, through two dogs. Mm. And then my mum, she lives on the back of that road, so it was a shock. We was out at the time, and we come back to seeing all that going on. One man game. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Do you want someone to play football with you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, mate. So Clacton might be a bit grim, but I can say that it's got a hell of a pier. You've got all the amusements inside that I just filmed. And all this outside, I know it's winter and it's dead, but this must be absolutely heaving in summer. It definitely beats Paynton Pier, the last classic British seaside pier that I visited on this journey. I was in Paynton most recently, oh, okay. and that's nothing like this. This, yeah. this must be cranking in summer. I tell you what, uh, the investment that we put into this pier, you wouldn't believe. But yeah, it attracts people. Is this what you think of when you think of the great British seaside? Look at this water, not exactly crystal clear, is it? It's a bit like chocolate milk. I would not want to go for a swim in that. A new report has just come out highlighting something that we already know. Millions of people in the UK are struggling financially. People aren't choosing to live paycheck to paycheck. The reality is that it's been over 20 years and six different prime ministers and the financial crisis in this country is only getting worse on the government's watch. Which is why I choose to take some control back by staying informed about what is really going on in today's politics. And to do that, I use today's sponsor, Ground News, which is a website and app that lets you see through the political bias that's behind every news story. Let me show you how it works. Up top, I get a summary of the key points and I can see that 6 million of the poorest individuals in the UK would need to more than double their income to escape poverty or what experts are calling very deep poverty. Of course, that's no surprise to people that watch my channel and see the state of the UK right now. Below the summary of key points, links to all the articles that were analysed to arrive at that summary. We can see that 31 sources have reported, but there is a bias distribution which is predominantly to the left. So that's a potential blind spot if you normally consume more conservative views. That's why Ground News also offers a blind spot feed designed to highlight stories that are disproportionately reported on by either side of the political spectrum. Ground News analyses the political bias for each source and story based on ratings from three independent news monitoring organisations. It's important to know what political parties are saying and doing about this issue and how they might be spinning the narrative to avoid accountability. Ground News is the best resource to cut through the BS. If you use my link ground.news forward slash Wendell you can get 30% of their unlimited vantage plan or you can give their pro plan a try for less than one dollar a month. So as I wander up from Clacton by the pier there all the way up the coast about two miles to Jaywick I thought I'd fill you in on a little bit of history about Jaywick itself. Built in the 20s initially as a development for holiday chalets for working class people, mainly from the east of London. Dwellings in Jaywick were never meant to be habited full time. They weren't meant to be lived in year round. In the Second World War, property where people lived in East London was destroyed through bombings. They relocated to their holiday chalets in Jaywick and they lived there year round. And then over the years, basically, they've just become more and more disrepaired and unfit for habitation. And these days, there's very little employment in the area and there's obviously, as many people know, a lot of poverty and a lot of struggle in Jaywick. How far is it up there to Jaywick? Uh, I would turn around to about a mile, mile and a quarter. Okay, yeah. What's life like in Clacton? Not too bad. We're retired, so we don't give a shit now anyway. <laughs> so, You've uh, got the demeanour of a man that doesn't give a shit, I can no, tell. No, I don't fucking ever. No. Jaywick's um, an acquired taste. Uh, basically, it's where they basically moved all the rough. So I've made it to Jaywick, folks. Let's see what life is really like in England's most deprived place.
Kevin, nice to meet you, mate. How are you? you? Yeah, yeah so Ke yeah, Kevin yeah. here runs the Sunspot Cafe, which is a brand new development just on the seafront at Jaywick. My dad was in the army. I grew up actually traveling around the world, um, but I came back to live here when I was 22. So, and I lived here for 28 years. Uh, fourth generation, great grandparents moved here after the war. Um, I've seen the place uh, change and develop over many, many years. And uh, yeah, this is a real positive, um, yeah, a positive, a positive building, a positive thing for the for the community. I mean, initially, Jay was was a holiday destination. It was it was places that you came in the summer. Um, you it was a, it was a, it was a place where you could actually buy a cheap bit of land, build your own little um, bungalow if you like, and then um, and holiday here through the through the summer. And, and in the winter, it was closed. It was as simple as that. Um, People started living here all year round. Uh, why wouldn't you? The be beaches are fantastic, they're beautiful. So Jaywick's had a bit of a bad rep, it's fair to say, over yeah. the years from documentaries and videos. What's life like living in Jaywick early 2024? Well, that's a very specific question. <laughs> but, um, simply put, it's no different to um, any other seaside town. We're busy in the summer and we're quiet in the winter. Um, we've got a fantastic community spirit here. Jaywick's an unusual place as in um, it's one of the only places where I've ever lived or been to or visited and I've, like I said I've been around the world um, that you can walk down the street a complete stranger and everybody will say hello to you. I've noticed that yeah They'll walking, say, how walking are down you? the yeah. seafront yeah everyone spoke to me. And they're genuinely interested like how are you you know are you, are you having a good day are you having a bad day? Um, it's not just, um, yes it's got its problems, what, but what place hasn't? Um, but it's just that strong community feeling that, that you get here and, that, and that, um, that welcome that you get in no other place. So walking in I didn't really realise how bad it was, it didn't seem that bad when I first walked in. But this is now the sign of the deprivation in the area. These these buildings that were only really designed to be holiday chalets are just not fit for permanent habitation and you can see the state that some of these places are in. I don't think I've seen another place quite like this in the UK. Nothing anywhere near. Just everywhere I go, everyone's just dumping mattresses, beds, sofas. Because everybody has given up care for the aesthetic of the place. So what's the inspiration behind this amazing when decoration? She's into Halloween big time, it just stays up all year round. What's life like in Jaywick 2024? What's the community like? Brilliant. brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I know for a fact where I lived before, if I was to knock a door at two in the morning, they're not going to answer. Yeah. I knock a door here at two o'clock in the morning. If I've got a problem, they're going to answer. So what, what do you think about the reputation of Jaywick being the most deprived place in England? Uh, overrated. Very overrated. Over here, you've got a few bad roads, bad reputations, but on the whole, no. I think the whole of Jay with the community spirit is absolutely 100%. Yeah. When something happens on the estate, everyone comes together. Good old fashioned sense of community yeah. spirit. Uh, when that woman got attacked the other day, yeah. got killed in two roads up, there was loads of people trying to get in the house to rescue her. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's like around here. But yeah, the, yeah, the community spirit is good. It's you have your bad eggs, of course you do. But on the whole, I I feel far safer than I did in my old road. So I think I what really what do. done Jay with a lot of harm was that bloody documentary series a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. Because when we told our neighbours we was moving to Jaywick, they just took the piss constantly. Oh, they laughed. Yeah. They, they laughed. Said yeah. I was I was stupid. And it has a nationwide stigma, but. I've heard Absolutely. nothing but good things before I came about the people. Yeah. Obviously there's poverty, it's quite obvious, yeah. you know, looking at some of the properties. Yeah. But also, wandering around, 
you know, anybody that I've said hello to, they smile, yeah. they greet you like the old days. And then, like, I've just come up to your house and I've shouted through the door, hello, will you come and talk to me? And you've come out and spoke to me. That yeah. wouldn't happen anywhere else. What's the, like, the situation with, are most of them rented or are they owned or is it a mix? Um, it's a mix. It's quite mixed, actually. There's, a, there's quite a few rented, yes. Um, we are owned. We own ours. And there's quite a few owned in this street. Um, does, that, does that help or change the demographic of the street or no, does it not really? Except everyone mixes together. Like yeah. so, so it doesn't really matter if you... To a degree, I think it does. Um, whereas you may get your rotten eggs more in one two streets than you would this street. Yeah. It's very quiet. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah. Because the minute you hear something, you're alerted. Yeah. So when, when I was in Clapton, I was speaking to people and they said that a lot of councils like East London, they tend to send some of their, like, their troublesome people to Jaywick, like, out of sight, out of mind. It's Jaywick's problem now. Yeah. Does, is there any truth in that? Yes, there is. You will find a lot of people that have come down from London are unwanted in the areas that they are, so they tend to, what I call, pigeonhole and shove them in one area where they feel, or well, they're going to fit in. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, they don't. Yeah. But honestly, like, I, I make these videos, like, all around the UK, and this is one of the friendliest places I've been. Honestly, I'm, I'm comfortable saying that, you know? And often I go to places, and, like, the poorer places, the more down-to-earth and welcoming people are. I love this place, anyway, because my mum and dad used to come on. I would bring us down here when we was toddlers on holiday. So uh, I've known this place like the back of my hand, anyway, before we moved here. Yeah, we retired here. Because, literally, I've got the beach at the end of my road. What more do you want? How do you feel about, well, obviously there's a lot of dumped rubbish. There's oh, yeah, like dumped sofas, yeah. dumped mattresses. It's not nice to see. No. How do you feel about that? Because you, in your own very unique way, you really look after your property. So yeah. so how, yeah, how do you feel about- We've got someone's even, this is where again, rotten egg has dumped around the back of ours. On your property? Yeah. There is a lot of rubbish. People do tend to- I think basically it's just laziness. Inconsiderate. They're inconsiderate. Yeah, it's total there. inconsideration and irresponsibility. Yeah, the, on silly their thing, the silly thing is, there's a dump not half a mile away. We're trying to get rid of that so ice there is down no there. Like yes. caravan. That caravan down there. I was going to go. And that's why I was walking down the street yeah. initially. I saw the caravan. I thought I'll have a look it's at a that. Skip. that. Yeah. That has so the caravans a skip. a skip. Yeah, it basically. Has become a skip become a for skip. people that are just dumping rubbish in it. So apparently, this caravan at the end of a road has been left there and has now become the skip for the street. Let's take a look. Look at that. So the caravan, which is completely abandoned, has now become the skip for everything that people don't want in this street in Jaywick. Only in Jaywick. It's such a shame because the people are so warm and welcoming, but yeah. there's so many infrastructure. It's just been forgotten, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, like the people that should be sorting these things out in 2024. It's been mislabeled. <sighs> yeah. Definitely. Whose fault, whose fault is it? Who can we point the finger at for the, the lack of infrastructure? Oh, councils. It is a good place to tell you the truth, we love it down here. It is we underrated. We won't go back to where we was. Oh God, no. But every, I feel so much safer here. There seems to be a trend for a lot of abandoned caravans in Jaywick. A lot of people bought their caravans here. They've just been left to be overgrown, boarded up, or just full of all the crap that no one wants. All these abandoned caravans are just becoming municipal skips for these streets. So you've been here a couple of weeks, just yeah. moved to Jaywick. What's life like in Jaywick well, so far? It's been alright for me. Uh, as long as you treat people with respect you expect to be treated with, it's yeah. been alright. So what's life like in Jaywick? Well it's pretty good. It's a, it's a bit of fun, it's relaxing. Yeah. We've, we've got the seaside over there. Of course, yeah. People uh, friendly, they're nice. Possibly could be better for the poverty stricken, really. So, of course, the true way to find out about any community in Britain is to go into the local pub. And the local pub in Jaywick is called the Never Say Die, which is quite an apt name for a town like Jaywick, which has definitely been left for dead 
by the local authorities, but he's refusing to let go. So what's life like in Jaywick? This is the local pub, hub of the community. This is the hub of the community. Yeah. Good people. Good people? Good people, Yeah, I've yes. come across really good people so far. Anyone needs anything, anyone's in trouble, you only have to ask. Yeah. We all look out for each other. Yeah. Everybody helps everybody else. And what do you think about all the negative press in the past? Well, I never wanted to come here, I'm not gonna lie. Been here seven years and it took me a year but I started working in the pub. Okay. And that did it for me. Yeah, because I gateway met, to the I community. Met the community. And I've never looked back. Won't live anywhere else. Yeah. So Jaywick's quite a deprived place. There's no way of really sort of avoiding. Well, it's a good bit that. of investment. Yeah, I was, that was what I was That's leading all to. It needs, yeah. what, what can the local authorities do to improve some of the infrastructure around here? There's a lot, you know, of things that seem neglected. Decent housing. Replacing some of the old I ones. I believe is coming. I've seen some plans and I believe it's coming. So what's the pub like? What's the, uh, what's the atmosphere in the pub like? This is fantastic. Yeah. There's, two, there's two pubs. There's one up the, the top end, 3J's. I worked there yeah. as well. Great pub. Yeah. Um, this pub is the hub of our community and then they have their own sort of community and the two sort of intertwine with their entertainment. But this is just... We have an open fire go in, we sit round, it's people's front rooms. The older people that come out that are on their own, she does Christmas dinner, you know, she feeds them. And this is where they sit and it's like being in their front room. Do you know what I'd like to say? I'd like to mm. say that I go all around Britain making these videos mm. and Jaywick does have poverty and it does have some of the issues that have been highlighted. But it's like stepping back in time with a community. Like even these pubs, they're, they're, they're shutting left, right and centre all are. around the country. Yep. And then you come here and it's almost like going back 20, 30 years. Yes, my old hometown has barely a pub left in it now. And now here I've come and there are pubs still here. Yeah. And we don't want this one to shut. So we all support it. Come and spend the money in yeah, here. Spend yeah, spend it in here. Why would you say that? I've lived here eight years and it's made my life hell. Okay, mate. Yeah. Have a good day. Jaywick, Essex, in conclusion. Is it the most deprived place in England? Look, I haven't been anywhere any worse than Jaywick. It's right up there with Grimsby in terms of the places I've visited. But it's different to Grimsby because it's small. It's condensed into a small village size area. It's shocking in 2024 that people live in those conditions in the UK and it's not okay. And whoever's responsible for sorting out these problems, they need to get their act together because some of the dwellings and the conditions and the poverty that people are living in, it's not okay. But at the same time, the people are really warm, welcoming, and just, they're quite cheerful considering the surroundings that they're living. So yeah, Jaywick. It gets a bad rep. People have a lot of negative stereotypes about it. It does have a lot of problems, but the people are wonderful. Thanks for watching.